I have returned from my extremely extended absence to make a video about this absolutely mediocre roadmap from 343. Honestly, an embarrassing roadmap. Mediocre is not even the word. Complete and utter embarrassment of a roadmap. And I haven't really made any videos because there has been nothing to talk about regarding Halo. So if you guys want me to talk about something else, let me know and I will. But Halo has been dead in the water since it came out. Really the only notable thing I know of that I was considering making a video on is Postum's whining about the Ukraine crisis or crisis uh, as an excuse to not do his job, which he should not have a job because of that. He should be fired, should not have a job. Hopefully he got fired. I don't know if he did. This guy just should not have a job though. Complete joke of a community manager using Ukraine as an example for not doing his job. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense considering he's American. Uh, and we really don't have a whole lot of involvement right now and hopefully will not. But that's not what this video is about. I'm not talking about the p politics of Ukraine versus Russia because I don't care. What this is about is this atrocity of a roadmap from 343 for season 2. Which is going to last another 6 months. Are you serious right now? Was, was, the first, was the first month of this not a good enough example of why you don't have extended seasons? Was Fortnite? Not an example of why you don't have extended seasons, because they had an extended season, uh, and it was a complete disaster for them. 343 had an extended season, and it was a complete disaster, because this game has like less than 10,000 people on Steam, and is not even in the top 5 played Xbox games anymore. They're behind like freaking Fortnite and Forza Horizon 5. They're behind a car video game on the Xbox top charts. Are you serious right now? You're behind a car game. Really? Really? Seriously? complete jokers and now they decide to release another six month season which honestly wouldn't be a bad thing if they had a large amount of content coming out throughout the entire season but over the next six months we're getting two maps three game modes apparently campaign network co-op which who gives a rip at this point everyone's already played the game and and mission replay wow wow so much stuff dude halo 3 in what 2007 and 8 delivered more maps and content than Halo Infinite has and that was in 2008 when games were not as streamlined as they are nowadays and some might say oh well you had to buy the DLC maps I'd rather buy eight DLC maps in instead of this crap I would willingly pay like 10 bucks for eight DLC maps if it meant I got all the armor for free but that's not what they're doing so I'm gonna call them out on this bull crap because this shouldn't exist Halo Infinite is dead in the water. It's, it's over. This game is not making a recovery, and if it does, I'll stand corrected. It might make a No Man's Sky recovery. I highly doubt it, though, but at this rate, it'll be a complete game up to par in about five years. So we've, we're have we on track, I suppose, even though even No Man's Sky made a faster recovery than this monstrosity of a game. But two maps in a full year. Since this game came out, by the end of season two, we will have two brand new maps. Two, two maps. So what'll that what'll that make like it to 14 maps or something? I haven't even really looked at these maps. It looks like one of them, based on this picture though, is a big team map, which means we're getting one arena map in a full year. In a full year, we're getting one map for arena. Complete jokers. And we're getting King of the Hill, which is a basic game mode that should have came with the game. Land grab. I don't even know what that is. I'd assume it's like Domination or something from COD. And then Last Spartan Standing, which I think is, what, Free For All or something? Maybe? That's what we're getting? Three game modes? That basic game modes that should have came with the game, mind you. We still don't have Forge, and Forge is probably not coming... Oh, yeah, Forge is not coming out until Season 3. Seriously. Forge is not coming out a full year after the game came out? This is this is a bigger fumble by 343 than even Halo 5. And Halo 5 was a complete disaster. And somehow, they're one-upping themselves from their biggest failure. And they were th this is like a guy running towards the end zone with the football wide open and like moments before he crosses the goal line, he throws it backwards to a to a freaking defender and has him run it in for the like This is a complete disaster. They had an easy Easy best game of 2021, I think is when this came out. Easy best game, because Call of Duty kind of sucked, and Battlefield completely was garbage. And somehow, they did worse than both of them, in my opinion. How do you do worse than Call of Duty? 
Call of Duty is made fun of for how bad the developers are, and somehow, 343 managed to step up how bad Call of Duty is. How does this happen? How does this happen? And if 343 is going to continue maintaining this game while apparently some other studio thing is called Certain Affinity is making a Battle Royale, something tells me the Battle Royale is going to be the this game's only saving grace. Multiplayer is dead. Multiplayer is gone. No one's no one cares about this game because it's lame. It's boring. No one wants a game with hardly any maps to begin with. Really, I think this game had less maps than Halo CE, a game from 20 over 20 years ago. Now, this game had less content than that when it came out. That's how lackluster this game was. And now we're getting six months of more lackluster trash. Two maps in a full year. What is this? This makes it like five game modes in a full year. That's it. That's all this game has to provide. And they still don't have Forge. They still don't have Forge. Forge literally could have saved this game, but they decided, you know what? This game's only potential saving grace is gone. We're not, we're not implementing it. It's just not going to happen, at least for a full year. And who knows? They might push it back even further than that. This game is a joke. 343 is a joke. Complete losers. I hope the entire head staff of 343 is fired. They don't deserve these jobs. A team of like 10 people could probably do a better job than this. This is a complete embarrassment in 343. Should be shut down really, quite honestly. I think they've proven they do not deserve to be a studio. You know, hopefully, who knows? Maybe maybe with this Microsoft acquisition of Call of Duty, we can get a game made by Infinity War or something. They're not even that great, and they could still probably do better than this, which is saying a lot because Infinity Ward is not very good. So if 343 somehow manages to be one of the worst AAA studios in development right now, says a lot. Complete jokers. None of them deserve jobs. Hopefully you enjoyed watching. Probably going to be my last video again for a while because there's nothing to talk about and clearly will not be for another six months. So if you want something interesting, let me know. I'd be happy to do like Rainbow Six Siege content or something like that, but this video is over. 343, you suck. I hope you're shut down permanently and never get to see the light of day ever again.